Hello everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to talk about how to install the latest Android Studio. As for today, January 2019, the Android Studio version 3.2.1 is available. So first of all, uh, I would like to show you system requirements. So the most important system requirements are uh, for Windows is um, uh, 32 or 64-bit, uh, 3 gigabyte uh, minimum RAM or 8 uh, gigabytes RAM recommended plus 1 GB for the Android emulator. Uh, 2 GB available in disk space uh, minimum, uh, 4 GB recommended and 1280 by 800 minimum screen resolution. So you have to uh, follow the link developer.android.com studio and click the link download android studio we have to agree with the above terms and conditions and start downloading studio so it's about uh, 927 megabytes today and uh, you have to wait until installation finished So downloading is about to complete, 10 seconds left. So after this, uh, we uh, have to double click on the installation package and start a process of installation. Please note this process required uh, some time and connection to the internet. So do you want to allow this application to make changes to your device? Yes. Welcome to Android Studio Setup. Press next. So uh, choose which features of Android Studio you want to install. You have to select uh, both features, Android Studio and Android Virtual Device uh, for application testing on the emulator. Next. Location specified must be have at least uh, 500 megabytes. Yeah, for sure you have enough space. Next. And start install. You have to wait while Android Studio is being installed. So once uh, Android Studio have been installed in my computer, uh, I have to click Finish and start Android Studio. So please note, uh, when we start Android Studio right now, uh, we have to be connected to the Internet, uh, since maybe required some extra installations. Um, I'm not going to do Import Studio Settings, since I had this before, but uh, I want to create new Android Studio from the scratch. So I'm going to use do not import. Welcome back. This setup wizard will validate your current SDK and development environment setup. Next. Choose the type of setup you want for Android, for Android Studio. Standard. Next. Uh, choose UI theme, Darkula or IntelliJ. I prefer IntelliJ. Next. Uh, if you want to review or change any of your installation settings, you have to click Previous. If you agree, uh, which is okay for me, I press Finish. So once I press Finish, I see some uh, downloading components started. And uh, I have to wait again. You can press show details if you want. You will see what's going on. And wait until uh, downloading components will be completed. Um, yeah, so this is done right now. Um, please note, Intel hacks some updated successfully. Uh, this is a hardware acceleration uh, software that required to run uh, Android device emulator press finish. 
So once you press finish, you can uh, start Android Studio project. Just pressing start new Android Studio. Um, I'll create a hello world application. Normally it starts with a capital letter. Next. So it'll be an um, application for phone and tablet, and it's saying that uh, by API 15, you will cover all 100% devices. I don't really want to use API 15. In my case, uh, I will be using API 21 as a minimum. Um, yeah, I'll cover approximately 85%, but um, I'm sure I don't have uh, any devices that are below this level. So I will. I will choose uh, targeting uh, minimum SDK API 21. And please do the same. Next. By default, it will be empty activity. Next. So please keep uh, create new empty activity and generate layout file with activity main XML. And uh, backward compatibility APB compat selected by default. So please uh, keep the same. Finish. So it looks like Android Studio uploading uh, project content. So please note, uh, it may take some time depending on your uh, computer speed. Uh, consistent in this right corner telling you what is new in Android Studio uh, 3.2. And on the left side, this is the content of your project. APP source and uh, yeah please know the first time you have to wait uh, at least extra five maybe ten minutes uh, to have everything connected and properly uh, synchronized so please wait until uh, build synchronization will finished and on the bottom corner you see that two process running as well so it means like you uh, have to start, uh, you have to wait until all uh, processes will be completed. Some information about uh, support for Android application bundle, which is new for this Android Studio. Support for Android Jetpack uh, that accelerate Android development with uh, components uh, and navigation. And some other features, Android emulator snapshots, and so on. This is a Java file, actually, that it's uh, a content of the main activity of Java. Uh, package name, two important statement, and basically uh, the main activity that extends APP compat activity by default. So finally, we get a message: uh, Gradle Gradle build finished, and it's coming to the end. It's scanning files to index right now, and we'll be uh, able to uh, try to run application very soon. So indexing is uh, very very slow you see this process is only just started uh, updating ind indices uh, that's what's happening right now uh, yeah you have to be patient and wait so please know that next time when you run Android projects again it will be uh, much faster execution so finally the process is finished you have to press uh, this uh green triangle or an application or shift f10 the problem is we do not have a deployment target right now and we have to create new virtual device and no usb devices running emulator detected and uh, we have to press create new virtual device 
So please note that we have to stay in category phone. Select Nexus 5X and press next. Then you see in recommended uh, you have uh, one API uh, for Nuga that is not required downloading, right? So we can stick with this because this one is uh, API level 25 is uh, it's above recommended 21. And you don't need to install others, you just need to press next. And finish. So now your device is available in the list. Press OK and wait when you run your first application. Again, for the first time, uh, you have to wait. So uh, you may need to wait for three, five minutes for the first time to run application. So this may take a while, but uh, eventually it should come to the final point when device is ready and hello world should be able to run in the device. Uh, as you see, like it's still two processes running and uh, here device is still also downloading something. So you have to wait until a uh, build will be finished. And uh, yeah, something may be even unexpected like this. Um, allow Google to regularly check device activity for security problems and prevent or warn about potential harm. So since this device is not uh, a real device, I would say decline. And uh, updating instance run and your application is runnable. So Gradle build finished in four minutes, one second. It's a lot. In your case, it may be even more if your computer is slow. Okay, so there was a video how to create a Hello World, how to install Android Studio, how to create a Hello World application. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Thanks a lot.